ABC 27 is bringing you 20 reports in the 20 days leading up to the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And tonight, those of us who are here in the mid-state that day remember concern over Three Mile Island. After the nation realized foreign terrorists had just attacked the homeland for the first time, the country became eerily quiet. The FAA ordered all planes to land and stay landed, but then three fighter jets appeared over Three Mile Island. We immediately directed the nation's nuclear plants to go to the highest level of security at the time. Since the partial meltdown in 1979, the Mid-State nuclear plant has been infamous. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission knew an attack on the plant would be another psychological blow. What would have happened had one of those planes nosedived into TMI that day? We did analysis over time and, and determined that that um, there, there could be a radiological release, but there was, there were, there were, plans in place to deal with that. And there was conjecture that Flight 93 was heading towards Three Mile Island. Watchdog group Three Mile Island Alert had been pushing the plant to increase security when the planes hit the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. To this day, plane, train and boat traffic all come close to the plant. TMI is located closer to an airport than any other nuclear power plant in the country. Harrisburg's airport was there first. The plant was built later. The nuclear plants are the most hardened commercial buildings in the United States. On 9-11, Ralph DeSantis was communications director for the region's nuclear plants. This plant and all nuclear plants have containment buildings in the United States that are designed to withstand the impact of large jetliners without breaching the building. DeSantis says there would be no release of radiation. Still, after the attack, $30 million worth of security upgrades were made and more staff was hired. But TMI Alert says those precautions have now gone by the way. Side. If you go to TMI now, you'll see Northgate, Southgate wide open, no guard. We're sending out what I think is the wrong signal. Because the nuclear industry has become unprofitable, the plant is being decommissioned and decontaminated, but that could take as many as 90 years. And right now you have a serious threat. This is one of the last nuclear power plants in the country that is radioactive waste stored in spent fuel pools. Ralph DeSantis says it is important to know that nuclear power plants are the most robust commercial facilities we've got in this country. And he says heavily armed professional security guards are at these buildings 24-7. Terrorists, he says, usually go after easier targets.